Happy Life, Chapter 48. Listen carefully and attentively. Don't rush to interrupt as if you already understood. Some people struggle to express themselves so they're hard to comprehend. After listening, discuss the matter to make sure you have grasped it if circumstances allow. Good listeners have better comprehension. Listening is an art that is seldom practiced. So this passage from Joanna Giannis let's talk about the art of listening. And she ends by saying that listening is an art, art that is seldom practiced. Why is that? It seems like it would be a very simple thing to listen to someone. But when we think about what true listening is, it actually requires that you stop fully what you're doing. You give that person full attention you open space in yourself to see someone else other than you and you need to approach the person and the conversation with some inner space inner space to acknowledge to listen that to an idea that might go beyond your own perception of the world so if you approach someone and there is no openness there's no inner space to actually consider um, something else that you have never heard, thought, or considered, then you come to a conversation with your set of ideas already set and no space to really, really listen to what someone else is saying. So that's one point that we have to consider. The other one is that the art of listening requires sometimes patience because not everybody is so articulate, not everybody is capable of conveying their ideas in a smooth and uh, logic manner at all times. And so listening also is a work of love, can be a work of love that requires patience, that requires uh, compassion, that requires meeting the person where the person is. So what Joanna is here um, suggesting is that, um, you know, some people are hard to comprehend. So you can always revisit what was said to make sure that you really grasp what the person was trying to say. And by doing that, by revisiting, uh, and that can be done by saying, I think that this is what I understood that what you said, correct me if I'm wrong. So we can, in a very nice and polite way, um, express that we are trying to get a real understanding and if there is any error in our understanding or interpretation, we are giving the person the room, the space, in a very polite and respectful way for he or she to try to um, express themselves better and help us to understand what it is that they are trying to convey. Therefore, when we look at listening, whether it is one or another perspective that I just share here with you, it is also a form of charity. Sometimes we talk about charity as something sophisticated, something huge, but actually listening, it, is, it can be an incredible way of acknowledging someone, embracing someone, and being with someone in a world where people are so incredibly, incredibly lonely, although surrounded by so many people, although connected online with so many people, there are usually very, very few people who are ready to really, really listen to us. So let's add that to our list of things to do, to work on, to be vigilant about. Are we good listeners? That's for you to think about and to respond. And if you come to the conclusion that there is room for improvement, by all means, Let's keep working on that. That brings compassion to the world, that brings better communication to the world, and these are certainly things that our world needs today so that we can all have a happy life.